Ready to go! Alright, so we've just arrived. I'm going to show you my room tour or mine and Brittany's room tour. She's over there still checking out the menu because we are starving. When you first get here, hello. You walk straight into the bathroom and we have a huge tub. Brittany, oh my gosh, go look at this bathtub. It's like a freaking jacuzzi, it's so deep. And then you have the double sink. So we got our own sink and then a toilet. Look at this. Look at the shower. Okay, can you tell we're not very bougie? And then when you walk out of the bathroom, there's like a little wet bar right here. And then of course, we've got some drinky drinks in here. And then here comes to our queen suite. Got a TV up there. Super nice and roomy. And then I'm going to bring you in here. And this is our living room area. How? beautiful is this and we have like a little desk this is the menu we are staying at the ivy boutique hotel tv i'm just gonna have a seat on the couch and pretend i'm watching a show and then we have some curtains the view is not that great it's got a little alleyway but we can still see kind of the main strip and these are like automatic hold on Brittany. how did you get that to work so yeah there is my full room tour very nice hello also this is a like huge mirror how could you resist Brittany's in there trying to figure out all the bathroom shenanigans y'all this vlog is going to be so fun because wait until you see tomorrow what we're gonna be doing. It's just gonna be so amazing. All right, so I don't know if y'all can hear me as loud as here, but Brittany got a sour green zebra and I got coke. This place is crazy, so I'm gonna have to show you my food and that's it. Alright, so we have made it to the Sweets and Snacks Expo and we are completely overwhelmed. Like, just look behind us. We have to make it to the press room, which is for media. I cannot wait to share everything with you guys. <laughs> So when you said this one's launching? This one already launched, so, so I'm okay. sorry, the new flavor just went to market this year okay. from the last month. So, pull back. Pull back. Like a tape and measure, kind of. Yeah, there we go. Oh, wow, that's really good. And then you, if you push down, there's a cutter at the front. To help oh, I see that. Yeah. That's very good. Mm. It's very tropical. Well, you get to eat to your own. Right? I know. <laughs> it's good, though. Oh, good. Yeah, John's going to try it. Yeah. He's here with us with Snap Scavenger. What do you think, John? It's pretty, like, I think kids would definitely like this. Well, don't drop it on the ground. Because <laughs> it's something to play with, you know? Yeah. Oh, my girls are going to love it. So delicious. I bit my cheek, but. <laughs> <laughs> Shots like that opens up, and you get sticks all around this middle area of goo. So you take it, take the sip, and you can dip it as far in as you want. You could do double dips, triple dips. And then people do have all sorts of ways of eating it, so I'm not gonna make a mess of myself. And I know you said you're not gonna So is, the, is the dip more sweet or sour? Or? The middle is sour, and the outside sticks are sweet. So okay, all right, I'm give it a shot here. Yeah. Went more all. So good. My girls are gonna be so jealous. <laughs> <laughs> they have been talking about these forever. Yeah. Oh. These went viral on TikTok when the world. Making the middle part sour was really fun. I'm like, I don't want to control the sour. 
Ooh. That is it. So on one side we've got sweet, on the other side we've got sour, and you switch back and forth and decide how many you want. So in your handful you can say I want two sour and seven sweet, and put that all in your mouth at once to get a perfect mix of sweet and sour. So with this container here, you slide each side, it can lock in so you can get them out. Um, same thing in the middle, it just kind of rests and it sits still. And then on this side you slide the other direction, again shaking them out. So we say slide to the side, you know, slide yeah. left, slide right. And so That's if I cool. just want some sour ones, I took out one sour, but you can have as many as you want. I'll just mostly give them to you guys to try, but uh, <laughs> again. So if you're ever to try both sides, make whatever ratio you want. It's very juicy. You feel that mouthfeel? Sour is the darker one, right? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna mix them. Oh yeah, do it. You're saying, notice that you like, have like that juiciness in your mouth. All right. And all about the product. Yeah. Juicy Two product. of those. Look at this though. I was, I've been eyeballing this. Look this at that. Oh my gosh. I've never seen that before. All right, two and one. Here. It's a mix. Woo! What do you think? I'm trying to find the sour. So this is coming out next year. Two huge benefits of this are one, not only is it an interactive packaging, which I'm about to show you how it works, it's a very unique gummy. So you'll see the texture is really cool. It's like light and airy. It's not like a typical gummy. Um, so we think they taste really fantastic. They come in the push pop flavors um, and uh, the packaging is just really fun to use. So we always say it's, it's just as fun to play with as it is to pop into your mouth. So I'll show you how it works quickly. All right. So again, working prototype, but what you do on this one is you flip open the top and then pull up, you can see the gummies, and push down and one appears. No way, okay. Yeah. So then we can take that one. I feel one, like kids are gonna that. like that. And then again, just keep doing it, new one pops out. So I'll let you guys play with it, I'll put that one back. <laughs> and you can play with it, and they're, they're all edible samples. They're really fun texture. So you'll see, like, look how squishy this is. We say it's like kind of light and airy, almost like a marshmallow, like. Yeah. Okay, all right, let's see. Done. What flavor are you gonna get? I don't know. Is it a, oh, I wanted the pink. Look at this. I know, that's really cool. Um, so I saw the different flavors. Watermelon. Was flavors, that watermelon or strawberry? Yeah. Classic push pop flavor. It tastes like strawberry. So tell us a little bit about tell us a little about Dewey's. Yes, yeah, so Dewey's Bakery was founded in 1930 in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. And um, oh, yeah, so we've been where are you guys? We're Carolina girls. Oh, yeah. no way. Yeah. Cool. Well, I've been in Winston-Salem my whole life, so I grew up with Dewey's. Um, we are most known for our retail bakery, which is in Winston-Salem. And we make cakes, and it has been a tradition for many families. And we've also had Moravian cookies. And so these are Moravian cookies that have been around since, you know, the 1900s, but just with some elevated flavors. So we've got our lemons, the ginger, peanut butter, brownie crisp. I've tried the Meyer lemon. That's what I think this is sent to me. Right. So good. Yeah, it's delicious. It's got some cold pressed Meyer lemon oil in it, some cane sugar. It's like a really, it's, it's not quite tart. It's tart and sweet, so it kind of is a perfect balance. Let's try some stuff. Yes. Yeah, so okay, let's go. With that cold pressed lemon oil. And they're super thin. They've got about 15 calories in each cookie. So you can eat, you know, a good stack of them. So delicious. What do you think? Really good. Yeah? Next up, we have our triple ginger. That's my favorite. It's got three versions of our ginger in there, which is a pureed ginger, a ground ginger, and a crystallized ginger, which you can kind of see in these like little little windows, we call it. Oh, yeah. And that is so good. It's got a really good ginger flavor and sweet. Yeah. That's, That's really the best gingerbread cookie I've ever had. I know it is. <laughs> this one I'm going to try. This one is our new peanut butter cookie, and it's super popular. Who doesn't love a peanut butter cookie? It's got creamy peanut butter and also bits of roasted peanuts in there. So you can also see those Thank you. throughout. We have to have breakfast, so. <laughs> yeah, we have to This is a perfect breakfast cookie. Mm. Minis, so they're like kind of pouches, and they're really great for on-the-go, like snacking. 
So this is our brownie crisp. We also have this in our regular sized cookie. But these are just extra portable, resealable. Yeah, good for kids. And they're so like chocolatey. They have like such a good like bite. <laughs> Delicious. I love the brownie. Which one is your favorite? Actually, the ginger. Yeah. I think the brownie's my favorite. Yeah. I'm a peanut butter guy through and through. Clusters one most innovative product non chocolate, the very berry flavor. Last year it was the OG gummy cluster, this year it's very berry. Same texture, but just a little bit of a different flavor, hence very berry. There's supposed to be sending me some of these. I see these in the gas station. And I grab them. And she's like, okay, I'm just going to send you some. <laughs> yes. So I was excited about that. But they're supposed to be like kind of crunchy too. Yeah. It's like one side, like soft. The new ones that you have in your package are the gummy splits, so it's like dual flavor. Oh, I've had them all. Please take a plate when you can take this. Yeah. Okay. All right. What do we got? Oh, that's the worst one. I think it is. It is the worst one. All right, ready? You get lucky? You know I got peach, baby. Okay. Oh, liver and onions. Oh, oh random oh, flavor. Random flavor. You want me oh, to pick be it? Be nice to me, please be nice to me. It doesn't matter. Everybody likes one. buttered popcorn, right? What is the odd? Uh, Could be rotten egg. Nah. <laughs> Here's a napkin in case you smoke it. <laughs> Don't get rotten egg. Butter popcorn. Uh, this is so good. Orange sherbet sparkling water by Jelly Belly. Delicious. So in our bag of goodies we have our exclusive. Wow. It's like a little lunch lunch box. Box. Oh yeah, that's yeah. nice. Single flavor. So this is our newest, which is watermelon single flavor. How exciting the pink! Too. Yes. And here is a fan favorite, all pineapple bag. Wow. We're affectionately known as the clear one. <laughs> and then our all blue raspberry bag. And this same blue raspberry flavor is in our special edition 100 year Haribo pack in a party hat form. That was a surprise to me. So, these are for all of you to take home and enjoy. overwhelming to say the least like I'm just like ah, ah, ah. we go back tomorrow I got a lot of networking a lot done but I'm tired my feet hurt I shouldn't have worry heels and I got way too much candy wait until I get back to the hotel and I pour it all out on the bed and you see what I got you're gonna think I'm a psycho an actual snack scavenger like a like a fox scavenging in the woods, but the can scavenging in the night. <laughs>
All right, so we are headed to the International McDonald's. I'm so excited. They have different menus every day from menus all over the country. So I'm excited to share with you what they're gonna have today and we're about to head inside. Here is the menu. It kind of changes as it goes. Here are our global options for today. They're out of the strawberry jelly donut, which I wouldn't have ordered anyway, but kind of cool. We just need one of everything, okay? I'm not getting the McPlant though, absolutely not. Okay, this is new. They have the twist cone. I know, I got one of those too. They do. Okay, so I YOLO, I ordered like the whole menu because why not? I don't even care. Look, check it out, 1706 and I got everything. Ooh, potato wedges. What McDon What country is this from? France. France? Oh my gosh. Joe doesn't even need sauce. All right, so I'm about to try, this is called the cream double chocolate donut. I'm not sure what country this is from because I did not look but I'm about to try it, so wish. Is that a flop? Oh my gosh, there's a gnat. Get the gnat. Yeah. One of my favorite songs is on Hey Jude. There you go. Okay, we're back in the room after day one of the expo. I had to buy an extra suitcase just so I could get all my candy home because we are going back tomorrow. And there was absolutely no way on God's green earth that I was gonna get this home in the luggage that I brought. So let me show you just from today. And this doesn't do it justice. This is how heavy, hold on. This is how heavy this bag is. I could lift weights with it. And then this is my second bag. And it is not quite as heavy, but it's pretty heavy. Yeah, so I bought literally a second suitcase to take my candy home in. Because, I mean, there was just, there was just no other option, okay? No other option. Here is one full day of being at the Sweets and Snacks Expo, and this does not do it justice, period. Like, there's a bunch of stuff in here, in here like any brand you can think of. And we didn't even get through a fourth of the expo today. Can y'all tell I'm out of breath, I'm exhausted. This is, it's taking up my whole bed. So we just came downstairs. This is day two and we are gonna have some breakfast. The lady recommended some good stuff. We are staying here, I don't know if I told you, but we are staying at the Ivy Boutique Hotel and it is so, so nice. We love it. Let me show you at this menu. So, me and Brittany were so hungry, we just dug in and forgot to take videos and pictures, but this is our breakfast at the hotel. Absolutely delicious. Day two, and I'm already sweating. Here we go, guys. Me and Brittany are sitting, Brittany. Me and Brittany are sitting in a corner over here, and we swore that we would not get a whole lot today, but we lied. I even had to go to Marshalls and buy a new suitcase yesterday. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of take this apart, and they said that, or Brittany told me that this has an extra two inches, which is what she said, what he said, whatever. And um, I'm gonna try to fit these two bags 
on top of what's already in here because y'all seen that already. All right, Brittany, watch your step. On to the next one. I love these things. You want to race? <laughs> Just kidding. These things are like lifesavers, but we had the creepiest taxi driver of life, y'all. It was scary. Like it was absolutely insanity. He basically wouldn't let us use like the curb app on the back of the seat like you're supposed to for safety. He wanted us to pay him like a flat rate in cash or something like that. It was really weird. Like, and then he told us to get out. So this is a tight flight, but we are headed home finally. Our flight was delayed about an hour and 15 minutes. So we're getting home pretty late tonight, but we have had an awesome time. What do you think? Oh yeah. We have. <laughs> I can't wait to show you my suitcases when I get home. It's gonna be like embarrassing, but my kids are going to go nuts and especially my husband too. We have made it back to Charlotte from Chicago. We're waiting on Brittany's bags. Here's the bag I originally took with me. And here's the bag I bought at Marshall's and it's 50 pounds of candy, I'm not joking. And here's my carry-on. So to say this trip was successful is an understatement. It was very overwhelming, but it was so much fun and I'm glad Brittany got to go with me. And next year I'm gonna bring my husband and it's just gonna be a blast from the past. Right? Quite literally. All right. So this is my 50 pound suitcase. Alex is about to open it up. Uh, I'm not sure. I have a side that is stuff that could get smashed and stuff that couldn't. So, oh gosh, look at Piper. Y'all are gonna be so surprised when y'all see this. I even had to let the extra two inches out to fit everything. All right, here we go. All right, so this has got a bunch of stuff in bags in this. And then he's got to unzip this part over here as well. And then there's stuff in here as well. Wow. <laughs> I didn't want to get like smashed or anything, so I, I kind of strategically placed everything in here. So let's see, we can open this, let's do this bag. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'll papers over here because I've got business cards I need. But like, that's the stuff the girls have been looking for that went viral on TikTok. I actually had a meeting with them at Bazooka. So I got two of those, one for each of the girls. I mean, there's so much stuff. Pull this out and sit this out. I just saw these in World Market and I ran into them. Milk, chocolate, milk, caramel. It's called Tony's Chocolonely, but I call it Tony's Chocolony and I showed them my video. It was so funny. Um, so if y'all watched that video and I went shopping with my sisters, y'all saw that. Just little small candies. Small candies. Oh, this doesn't launch. This is the Tic Tac Strawberry and Cream. I only have one of these. This is not launched until next year. Sour Patch Warheads gave me a shirt. They're coming out with a new soda. They're gonna have like five or six different flavors. I tried the blue raspberry. It is so good. Cannot buy in convenience stores yet. And then I tied that so nothing would fall out. This is mostly like smaller candies and I'm really excited about this Hachu Fantasy Mix. Look at this. This is grab and go chips and salsa. Mm -hmm. Dr. Pepper jelly beans. Y'all, we haven't even got to. Let's open this lunch box up. These. That's all blue raspberry, all pineapple. This is their it, it's their hundredth year anniversary, so they have the limited time party mm -hmm. hat ones. Um, and that's just all different colors. And then this is their watermelon. Okay, so a lot of you may not know who or what Ferrara is, but Ferrara makes a lot of the brands that you eat every day. 
I'm gonna kind of pour it out for you and let you see, and you'll be surprised at some of the stuff that comes out of here. Let's get this over. Just kind of pour those samples out. So we've got Funnables, Twistables. They make fudge stripes, sweet tarts, rocks, holiday heat. This is some of the stuff that's gonna be coming out this year in the holidays. They're gonna have these Brock's Holiday Lights in the holidays. Rocky Road Fudge Stripes, which is gonna be a li limited edition flavor. We've got the Nerds Gummy Clusters, Black Forest Gummy Bears, Trolley, Laffy Taffy. This is just something like the brands that they carry. And then we haven't even got to this side of the suitcase yet, y'all. But let's go through this first, because this is filled with like protein bars. Look at this, birthday cake, Quest Bar. These are the new Built Puffs. Look, chocolate and cream cupcake, Saint protein bars, Quest cookies, birthday cake, lemon delight protein bar. We've got the Built Puffs, and this is the brownie batter. I've been wanting to try that. We've got another Built Bar. We have the cookies and cream, which I love. More Talk Zero. I mean, it just goes on and on. Quest Bars, Atkins Bars. Uh, we've got more Atkins Bars. We've got more Built Bars. This is the Salted Caramel. More Think Bars. This is Chocolate Mousse Pie. Oh, here's the One S'mores Protein Bar. I have to show you my favorite, though, that Hershey's gave me. I got two of these Fruity Cereal Limited Edition Bars. What do you think about that? Oh, wow. Oh, I've been trying good. to find those everywhere. Um, Albanese samples. Oh my gosh, it's just like, oh, I mean, sorry, I didn't mean to throw it at you. <laughs> Look at these, these are Oreo Cowtails. I've got a bunch of these, but these are two of the full size ones I got, I've got more. Um, Y'all, this is just, help us, help us all. <laughs> This is my part of the suitcase that I did not want anything to get squished. Now these are gonna be coming out in September and around September, October, they are gonna be coming out with Sun Chips Minis, Doritos Minis, and they're gonna be also coming out with Cheetos Minis. And this is the sample of the Cheetos Minis. I'm actually about to try these because I've been wanting to. But yeah, I think we're just gonna go through the rest of this candy as a family and all that over there, which is tons as well. And we might be back later with a separation pile. Who knows? All right, so we went through it. It's crazy. The kids are ready to dig into it. There's so much. I mean, y'all, like, we're definitely going to be sharing a lot of this stuff. But it was a good trip overall. And I'm so excited and thankful that I got to go. Oh, 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 o